waited for a clock on the procedure to release my pressure. That went perfectly fine when I came home. I mean, of all things, I sat down and I blew my nose and hemorrhaged my eye. It filled with blood that detached my retina all at the same time. And I ended up losing my sight. And I didn't know it wasn't going to come back for three months later until they determined that my retina was totally detached. So at that point, I fumbled around for about a month or so and decided I was going to do something. So I got some training, came here, and for about half, I was here for about four months. And at the end of my four months here, I joined a Highmark group for a grant for um, job preparedness. And there was about four or five people in there, and it basically turned into be a computer user group. So after the grant was over in February, I continued the group and took it on, and we created a computer user group. Now that has about 10 or 12 people, and we meet here usually every other Thursday and just work on whatever anybody needs for their computer, screen reader, help, or even if we want to go over an app for the iPhone. And that's pretty much what I'm doing now. Plus now, after I went through the training at BVRS and started the computer group, I also volunteer here on the off weeks of the user group. So I come every Thursday, and on the Thursdays we don't have a user group meeting. I volunteer and update the computers and help Tracy and Orton Spiro with anything they need computer-wise, doing all the updates and installing some software. And we have another sighted volunteer that comes and helps me if I need help reading the screen with things that come up that turn to be a problem. So that works out and that gives them a break because it frees them up to do other things that are more important than just running around and updating software on all the computers. Sure, um, access technology, it's um, computer, more or less computer usage for the blind. For instance, getting your email, they teach you that you can put your printed letter from your mail on your flatbed scanner. The computer will turn it into text and it will actually turn it into speech and read to you what's on that piece of paper. Um, they teach you how to use an iPhone. For a blind person, the iPhone has something that's called voiceover where it actually talks to you. So I can use an iPhone just as a normal person, a normal sighted person would and do the same things with it, if not more. Um, they teach us mobility, household arch kitchen skills. Uh, Martha, one of the instructors here, she teaches Braille, how to use a digital recorder, and how to just do daily tasks as a blind person so you can do things as a sighted person would. Um, before I lost my sight, I worked up until the Thursday. Thursday was my last day of full-time employment. I went in for the operation Friday, and that was the last time I ever worked again at full-time. Um, I worked 20 years ago. It was about for Jefferson Hospital in our graphics implant printing shop. I did print estimating, computer support, some graphic design there. Then when I left there, um, our department was eliminated. They outsourced it. Um, I worked for a small computer company. My friend, he did um, technical support for a salon management program. We started out with four people there, and it grew to when I left. I worked there for about 10 or 12 years up until I lost my sight. We have had about, I don't know, a lot of people doing technical support there. It grew almost at least threefold when I left. And um, I worked there for 10 years doing computer technical support for the salon program. So I had a lot of computer experience up into that point with helping people and assisting them. And that's where it led into doing what I'm doing now with the computers.